don't know. All right, could not authenticate you. It, it is up to me to announce this myself. Twitter, Twitter make posts. sent and discord has been updated all right and hello and welcome dear viewers we've got one minute and 20 seconds on the clock game out of focus there we go controller working game loading we'll be using the crocodile save file today started last time Survivor, featuring Jeff Burnish. And if you like what you see, smack that follower carrot. That affiliate carrot, I mean. Like by following. Unless you're watching the recording of this. In which case, let me tell you, it was delicious. And Bianca loading in for just a moment to say hi. All right, last time we configured my controls such that, all right, I can do that. I can change my, that's the Atlas button. Let us exit that. And I can change my breaths with, well, I can breathe with that. Wait, was it really? Oh yeah, that's right, I kind of made this the X button. Alright, we have Ice Breath now, so let's take a look at the Dragonfly Dojo again. See if we can't wrestle a Dragonfly out of that. From the uh, challenges we left behind last time. And take a cursory look for any of the jazz we missed. Now how the hell did I change my breath? Ah, 3,013 total treasure. That was a good year. It's been 13 years since the class of 3,000 had been established. All right. You d Thanks, Zoe. All right. Cycle my breaths with the L button. Gotcha. Charge with the B. All right. Out of here. Out of here. Oh. Over here. There we are. I might need to redo my controls. This is a. Uh... I figured it out last time. Uh, let's see, this game has a reputation for being buggy, crashing a lot, and not performing well in general. Um, I think it's got more of a stern reputation in that regard for people who played the PS2 version. The GameCube version was notably more tolerable and full tolerant. Hello, three horn. Spyro, my kite Good old got stuck up in the tree. Could you get my? Oh. Hmm, nothing to stand on except for you. This reminds me of a puzzle. Now 
There you go, buddy. One unique asset. Crap. That's not the white button. Oh. I can't fix it. Thanks for getting my kite down, Spyro. You're welcome, Rusty. My buddies RJ and Dougie are flying their kites today, too. Oh, there are three. Have you seen them, Spyro? Oh, that's right. Oh, I've got to rescue all of you little buggers to get the bug. All right. Ouch. Ouch. Let's see. Goodness gracious. Not teach yet. We've got to find RJ and Dougie. Oh, I bet the last of the gems in this level are on that little island that RJ is on. And that's coming up. Hi, money bags. That's gonna be a lap down. Well, we might just 100% the Dragonfly Dojo yet. They really do feel like floating platforms. Oh wait, what's the hover button again? That's the end of me. Not that one. Oh, uh, is it this one? Oh, okay. It's the whatever button I mapped to to the camera. On um, PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1, that would be the triangle button. Some donations. Hey, it's gone. There we go. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Can these be all the gems? Dragonfly Dojo. They are not. Hi, RJ. I be oh, I'm sorry. Can you save my kite, Mr. Spyro? That tree is so hard to climb. Maybe there's another way to reach the kite. Oh, it sure is hot out here. Oh, absolutely, a little prono. Here you go. that I lost last summer. <sighs> that was cold. But you saved my kite, so I guess I should thank you. You should go see Dougie and Rusty, Mr. Spyro. They're my friends, and they like to play with kites, too. You got it. Oh, this is a beautiful little game. What are you all talking about? There we go. It's all coming together. Oh, did I just skip by these barrels the last time? Goodness gracious. 
I really wasn't going for 100%. But I am. It's the only way that we'll be able to see Ripto in all three of his forms at the end of the game, so... We absolutely must endeavor for him. Across the eight realms of the Dragon Realms, or the eight worlds of the Dragon Realms. Okay. I think it was down here. Oh, mayhaps? Or we're supposed to go upstairs. We gotta go upstairs first. And then we can talk to Elmer. I could have. In another world, I could have just grabbed that. Spiral, you're just in time to help me. RJ and Rusty were playing with Can my cups, and Rip Tops Rusty? came by, kicked sand in my face, and threw it up in the tree. I hate the taste That's of sand. That's horrible. If I could breathe ice like a big bad dragon, maybe I could get my kite down. Bad dragon. There we go. One kite for you. Get that naughty dragon down from the tree or something. I can't see. There. Thanks so much, Mr. Spyro. I've been looking for this kite all summer. You're welcome, Mr. Dougie. Look, Spyro, look what came out of the tree when you saved my kite. A baby. Huh? Hey, what the hell was that? Mooney. Does a trumpet sound play whenever you get any other dragonfly? I don't think I got that particular one as a kid. I feel like that would have stuck with me. Or a bugle or whatever that was. Ah yes, the bugle. Audio newspaper for a visual world. Any little loose end gems around here? It's a pretty little waterfall. Alright, I am curious whether the missing gem is obvious. It wouldn't have been in the tank level, right? Take one last cursory look around this entrance area. Because I feel like maybe I, I was getting my bearings the last time I was here. But if we don't find that gem immediately, we'll backtrack to it later on. The night's all about progress and the carousel it takes place on. I can actually discharge through the little guys. Oh, there we go. It's a, a little purple gem in the water. Oh my goodness. Still not hit, huh? Goodness gracious. see any fog anywhere else in the game. Maybe Monkey Monastery. Oh, it might be up here on this little steppe garden. There's one. There you go, fellas. 
one unfinished green gem texture. That is it. And I think we retain all of our progress if we exit the level. All right. And that is the last we'll see of the Dragonfly Dojo. It's a very pretty level. All right. Oh, where are you? I'm glad I caught that on camera. Later, Hunter. Definitely gotta grab that later. Ouch. I haven't seen that one yet. All right, I think in this episode, we're gonna take a look at Cloud Nine. Oh, and the bear's gone. I never really said hi to him. Hmm. We might be here for a little bit because I think it hosts a speedway level, so there's that, like the Dragonfly Dojo. And I think this is the first level that requires us to use the wing shield to combat enemies. And let's see what else. Well, it's a whole new level. So sometime we'll go into that. Hello, bear. Can I talk to you? There. Are you making any progress powering the machines? <laughs> yes. Alright, flame killed those guys. Good to know. Oh, you can still burn the plants. That's great news. And these are the fodder of the level. <laughs> yep. One more time for good measure. Alright, we got the Cupid ripped off, which I think I can block their shots with my windshield. Oh, gotcha. Where's that face that I just saw? Here we go. Goodness gracious. This level feels like a dream. Hello, sweet VTuber. Welcome, welcome to tonight's stream. You just caught me amongst the people. Uh, just taking a good yander around the Cloud Nine world. We've met good characters like the Cupid Riptock. You'll check this out. All right. Maybe that goes in the direction the camera's facing. It does not reflect the fact of where it came from necessarily. It refracts. So let's keep the camera trained on you and see if this works any better. It worked any better, but not better enough. Oh, you know, we better swim around here while we can. Oh, that was fun. Oh, yes, Sparks? Am I stuck? Can I? Can I? Uh, okay. You can't. Oh, okay, I see. The button to dive is not the button to charge forward while swimming. And that was never the case. I'm just getting used to this controlling.
Good to see you, sweet VTuber slash Bon Bon. I hope life is treating you well. I'm not waiting for this guy. Oh, I might wait for him. He's trained on me. I am never going to land a hit with that thing. Wouldn't hit the broth side of a moisture evaporator. Oh yeah, the weird like star cannons that make rainbows. <gasps> this guy! The thief! Okay. That was easier than it's been in the past. Is that it? Oh yeah, I got the guy, that's right, the guy wants his wand back, because the thief stole it. I think you're not supposed to approach the thief from, like, the direction he will run in. The old games had, like, a much more sophisticated system of running away from you. This was more Scarlet Violet style. Hello, Bearman. Thanks, Spyro! Now I can power up the swirly! Alright. middle point of the level. Well, this level's proved to be not too hostile. That's nice. Oh yeah, the evil clown! The little crayon face! He was so interesting. And I just blame you. the swirly. I have unfinished business on the ground floor, you see. I'm gonna get you this time. I can't miss. Alright. Sorry, can't hear ya. Just got the one eye. Yeah, some people forget that I just got one eye to see from. Makes it hard to... Everything I see, I've got to adjust. For the fact that it's sitting six feet to the left of where I think it is. So I'll collect those gems in the next go around. So many gems. You know, when I was a little boy and I played Spyro games, I didn't really bother going for 100%. I didn't see the point. I just did not see the inherent point in going for 100%. I didn't try to. Uh, I was kind of new to video games, so I didn't even fathom what there'd be like a bonus or a reward for doing so. So like, I didn't count it as part of the gameplay. I just thought there are gems, I can get them. Oh yeah, Sparrow's in the LGBT world in this episode. I had a neighbor that, uh, well really my babysitter had a neighbor that played, I caught her playing Spyro 3. And doing all of the gem stuff, like collecting everything, setting up fireworks in the, uh, this one world, I forgot what it was. And I had no idea what they were doing that. I don't know, it just baffled me that she was bothering to go for 100%. And now, and now here I am, 20 years later, give or take, and I'm going for the 100%. I might have missed a gem down there or two. You missed the uh, 
LGBT baby dragon in Dragonfly Dojo. Uh, his name was Dougie? No, 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 his name was RJ. Where are you going? And it wanted me to get its thing back. Oh my god, do I have to fly back up there? I think I have to take the swirly again. Oh, nope. One expertly hovered with the skill of a champ. I'll get you, Gadget. Got you! Hey, it's Sabino! Alright, thank you, Sabino, for your presence. Sorry, I was watching a new show. Didn't realize you'd be going live tonight. That's okay, it was short notice. I hope you enjoyed your new show. And I very much appreciate your presence, but it is not a, uh... I would not hold it against you. Why did I do that? Especially for this. This is, I like Spyro, and this game's not as special to me as the good Spyro games. But, this is just a little for me thing. Actually, I can't say it is. This game won the poll. For what game I would play. I, I can't even say this is like, I can't even take the altruistic route. Uh, it's a platformer. I'm not sure how watchable it is. Can I activate this? Oh my god, I can. I knew it. I think this thing shoots rain flowers or something. Oh, wait a minute. These were the generators the bear wanted me to activate. Silly old bear. Oh boy, I cannot wait to read your gushings. I will tune in when the time is right. It looks like the Mike TV torture device from the Chocolate Factory. Wasn't it a torture device? It was just a go into games laser console. I mean, he turned it into his own torture device, but, like, he picked the chimps channel to get tuned in. Or I don't remember if he picked it. I think he, like, got beamed in. And they were, I don't remember if he started in the chimp channel or that was when they were changing the channel. back when MTV used to play Mike. It's a long time ago. There you go. Your enemy comp combinations can't do too this to me. Moving platform. movie, he just gets trapped in the digital world and comes back miniaturized. Oh yeah, that's right, he gets sent into the little black screen, and they like pick him up, and it was take him to the enlargement room to get enlarged. And he's one of the last kids to go. I would not have gotten kicked out of the chocolate factory if I'd won my trip.
Unless my grandpa peer pressured me into trying the fizzy bubble drinks, then like I might. I don't want to disappoint him. It's his first time walking in decades. If he like really wanted to go try the fizzy lifting drink, I'm not gonna be a stick in the mud. Stretch a room. Yeah, that's right to get relongated. Yeah, you're right. Oh, well, absolutely. Like, you can't make a movie about five well behaved children going to the chocolate factory and. <laughs> it's just a, a nice trick. <laughs> Charlie and the ostentatious but well-meaning chocolate facility. Or Willy Wonka and the ostentatious but well-meaning chocolate facility. Okay. Listen to the wind howl. I think this platform would be the one to jump from. Oh yeah, certainly. Sparrow, don't do it! Oh boy, this is gonna be... Don't make me do those guys. It's just that the kids that got the tickets did so because they were somehow particularly awful. That's right, my TV was a security analyst for a big box store. Uh, hey, it's Sylvia! Heather Rich Penny was the daughter the spoiled daughter of a billionaire and used slave labor to acquire her ticket. Um, second degree, so your dad was the one doing it. Um where I want to go. Oh boy. I'm lost. I'm hopelessly lost. Uh, Bubblegum Betty was her crimes in the name. She became blue. She was too green with it. Uh, where the hell? Am I lost? Oh, here we go. I'm just gonna take the... the good way. There you go. Uh, let's see. Who else was on that trip? Oh, Fatty McFatFat. He was... He was just too gluttonous. He didn't do anything. He didn't... He just, like, kind of disobeyed the rules. It's the reason he goes first, because he's, like, not the most egregious thing. He's, like, just kind of rude and eats a lot. I think that's all the characters. There we go. Hey, it's Ice Boy. The old doll also didn't like kids. Really? That's why he made the movie about them going to the chocolate factory and getting denied, like, stuff that they wanted? That's so funny. Did Johnny Depp not like kids either? Is that the inspiration for the remake? I know he thinks Australia is a beautiful country, with laws in place for good reasons, but that's the only thing I know about him. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, mayhaps. He was in between Pirates of the Caribbean digs for that one. What's that? I feel like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory doesn't take place. It, it was released between... I want to just... I'm guessing between production of Dead Man's Chest and Nowhere's End or whatever the third part of the Caribbean movie is. Hot Sea movie. Oh no, that's my bubble breath. There you go. Oh, it's... What do you want me to do about it, Mr. Bear? What is all this that you got set up for me? These lightning clouds are electrifying the pools. <laughs> oh, that's Can mean. Can you use your super flame breath to get rid of them? Yeah. Use the portal to power up your flame breath and get it to work. All right. I think I can just, there we go. That's how you do it. Uh, 
it's just little rain cloud. But... Get out of here. There we go. Problem solved. between the first two. Oh, wow. Okay. Jeez, did... Oh, I guess Pirates of the Caribbean. That's like 2002, I want to say. Traveling the Chocolate Factory, definitely like one of the two. 2000... Between 2003 and 2005. Um, I always thought of Dead Man's Chest is a 2005 movie, but maybe that's where my crap is getting miscombobulated. Maybe the third Pirates movie came out earlier than I think it did. Jeez. But Charlie and the Chocolate Fire Crew was not too far removed from Mike Myers' as The Cat in the Hat, date-wise. Race to Witch Mountain, though? Years later. Flushed away? Not quite as far as Race to Witch Mountain, but I think that's a 2005 or 2006 movie. Let's see. Pirates, Charlie, Deadman's Chest. Oh, Pirates 1 was 2003! So once upon a time in Mexico. Huh. He was on that? Pirates, Charlie. Charlie the Chocolate Factory is 2005. Okay. Oh my god, Deadman's Chest is 2006? That's way later than I thought it happened. Well, by way later, I mean like two years. Thank you for checking. Watch the maker. Goodness gracious. I'm glad I didn't need to bring the super flame power up, like, through the pool and out to do another challenge. Or did I? Just the way forward is not obvious right now. Maybe I needed that. I don't think I can make that jump. That doesn't look like one I can make. Truly peak Johnny Depp. Oh yeah, and Corpse Bride! Peak Depp Burton. Alright, well, I don't see where else I can go, so I wish I had my old strategy guide. Let's do some geometry. It looks like this is a little bit closer. Actually, just the way it... Alright. Let's do this. Ooh, okay. I really don't think that was the intended. I don't think people are supposed to be able to make that jump consistently. See a counter go up or anything. I'm sure it worked. You can see the electricity right there. It worked. Let's do another one of those jumps. Alright. You see, that's a reasonable jump. Never has there been a more reasonable jump. Right, You're welcome, Danny. Do I get anything for that? You're right, but that's the kind of BS jump that, like, Bubsy 3D and Rayman 2, like, third rate, third D, third dimensional platformers make you do. Spyro used to. Sparrow is a fair yet stern series. Well, at least Spyro. You know what? Spyro 1 had some BS jumps, but. 
And, and this is Fire Runner to the Dragonfly, it's not really in the same family. Fire Runner to the Dragonfly is Gary and Spyro 1, 2, 3, 3, or Snelly. Actually, no. Spyro, like, Hero's Tale is Gary. This is the rock that Patrick got. I heard a guy. Oh. Gary Gearshift. I should have known you'd be playing around on the gears. Hey, it's Goose! Oh, Goose. mode. Aww, little clockwork place. If I was eating a fruit there, I'd... I'd eat an orange. I love BS 3D platformers. Next stream, I want to be the guy. The Puppy Palace is under attack! Oh, not the Please Puppy Palace. Please from the battleships! Defend the Puppy Palace? Yeah. Otherwise, this could become the land without smiles. I should have asked how do I fly in a Spitfire. It's not auto, I have to. S this is semi auto. Okay, I can tank. I can shoot this. This opens my Atlas. Good. There you go, there's the missile firing. Puppy Palace. Oh, they're flying around in their little beds. I think they can just. This is riveting. There we go. If I thin out my profile, they won't be able to land their hips. a little bit of patent time, and I feel like it's one of those things that I need to revisit. Because, like, it didn't click with me at the time, but I don't think a lot of games were clicking with me. So that might have been, like, a me problem more than a patent time problem. I would love to do it. Although, I do remember hearing news of, like, a spooky nightmare level. Yo, are these things gonna die? A, like, a scary level? Like, with, like, stealth? Okay, I'm just... Oh, that's one down. Jeez, they're just loaded. I better stay banked. Okay, that's one. One more. Let's send them back to the depths. There we go. Taken care of. Oh yeah, no, never played Puppy Hat and but I remember it was made by a guy that really like likes platformers. I mean, Here, otherwise he wouldn't make a platformer in 2016. Um, it looked like one of those collect-a-thon things. It looked like a like Mario Odyssey sort of deal with like the movement options. Hey, I, I don't have much to say about Hat and Time, but I keep saying about half the time. I know a lot of this, I know. Defend the Puffy Palace? No, thank you. Okay. Happy 
happy to help. Now the Puffy Palace lives another day. But have you played a hat in time? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. When I played it, it was just, uh... It feels like... Mar okay, just like going off of what I remember the character feeling like to play. And this was an early launch, too. I know it's a game that's like gotten stuff added to it every time. I don't know if he's... If, like, the movement and stuff has been messed with, like, the core mechanics. But I remember it played, it came out before Odyssey, I think. It played, like, what Mario Odyssey would feel, like, what Mario and Mario Odyssey would feel like to move around, except more if his, like, shoes were on butter. Like, it was slippery. It was, like, slippery Mario Odyssey physics. Like, whenever you jump in Mario Odyssey and you dive, you, like, hey, stop in place and dive in the direction, so you can make snappy, like, decisions. You can, like, jump and snap into another direction. Whereas Hat Kid would, like, jump, and then you'd, like, hit the dive button, and she'd, like, kind of slide a little bit before doing it, and that just, like... I'm sure the game was balanced around it, but it didn't feel good. We're, we're, we're never gonna defend the Puppy Palace with that, right? Where's the entrance to the level? It's kind of... Oh! Here we go! I bet there are treasures to be had. Oh, this is old Spyro. Design. And there's a minigame portal. Okay, we're gonna hit that, and then we'll see the last cannon. Not even a little. I'm sure it's on sale. Uh, yeah. Or it will be on sale in the near future. I'm sure it's dipped pretty low. Uh, for those of you tuning in from home, uh, there's a good site that kind of aggregates like deals on games that have Steam keys. Um, all curated, so usually no, no scam sites. And it's called IsThereAnyDeal.com. Is there any deal? Dot com. <clears throat> is there any deal? There we go. Spyro is. Is there any deal? Dot com. It's just the sentence. Is there any deal? With the uh, T H E R E there. Uh, no spaces. No special characters. And you s type in the name that you game that you're looking for, and it'll check Steam sales, current humble bundle deals. It'll tell you like what the lowest historical price is. All that good stuff. So you can get you can get your very own hat in time for I don't know two dollars. And what's the deal with Steam sales? Do you distribute your game on this on a platform and it's discounted? I never. <laughs> Here's a hint. Try completing each challenge in order. Start with the rings. Okay, here we go. Rings, stars, and go karts, and the flying guys for last. Rings, stars, go karts, flying guys. Oh boy. A speed light. You're down here. Hello. Didn't I learn yet? I feel like I'm interrupting something innocent. Flying through the sky and like knocking out these jumping stars. Go kart is heading in this direction. Usually you should go against the flow of traffic, but here, let's adjust. I can do this. I just wasted a good few seconds. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh god, road visibility. Alright, 
parts, and then just flying Riptox after that. I wonder if the red ones go any faster. It's cool if they have unique models at all. Alright. Let's cut these guys off with the pass. Oh, oh god, invisible barriers. Oh my. There you go. Uh-oh, that could cost us. Well, you know what? If every mistake costs a run, I'd have one run. Alright. Oh boy. Oh boy. I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. We're going home. There we are. Yay! Mm -mm. I will take my victory. Really, with, what's the deal with Steam sales? You should be asking what's the sale with the deal. It's more often than not you'll see deals appearing in your Steam dashboard and like, you know, it's always something. It's Chinese New Year, it's Happy Devolver Digital Day, it's Congratulations, we beat Epic. Like, there's like a celebration every week or weekend of like some developer or something, like something's on sale. Hey, look what I found flying around. Hey, it's Tashi Station. Ah, Tashi Station. I'm a suburban little American child and I have no idea what that is. No, oh, no, I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to, I wanted to race the Riptox. I give up. No. I would like to race the flying Riptox. They are confident they can hardly get started. Don't forget, you have to fly through all the green checkpoint rings. Alright. You have to eat all of the eggs. Let's do this. Okay, I still got my trusty fire breath at my disposal. Win number two's in the bag. Can I bank? No, I can't. Boy, I wish someone had spent a few more minutes on making the music loop a little smoother. Did that guy just run into his compatriot and then run off the course? Survey says yes. second place guy. I really can't afford to miss a single boost. There you go. Steady course. Is this a trap? No, it like stacks my boost, so 
I get like a little more on time, so no, it's not a trap. Oh boy, here he is. That has to be him. The final muchacho. Alright, he lost control. There we go. Win number two is in the bag. I'm sure it is. To make a music track with the Grace Bully is a skill. And this is before Stack Overflow was happily populated. Maybe, well, that's for the Rip Talks. And I mean, this game had a lot of. They were trying to, they needed to get this game out the door. There was a lot of attrition going on with this game's development, so I can totally understand them not even having 10 minutes to spare trying to, not that it would take 10 minutes. This would be like a guy's, this would probably take a, it'd be a little few days long project for somebody. And they, they did not have those kinds of man hours to spare. I actually found a documentary that someone made on this game. And it's like just some dude who wanted to know what happened with this game, trying to reach out to former developers, but like they really did their research. Um, it's not Teal Game Master, who is a fairly notable Spyro YouTuber. Um, it's another guy. I forgot what his name. I think it's FO1. Not a very good username for SEO purposes. Um, but... Eh, what am I trying to get at? He made a documentary of Spyro Into the Dragonfly with Teal Game Master, but that's not very well or, um, advertised in like the video title or anything. It's just in the description it says, Teal Game Master's here. Uh, here's his channel link. But it's got like 10,000 views. It deserves more. It's just called the Spyro Into the Dragonfly documentary. You can find it on YouTube. Um, and they kind of go into detail about, like, they do their best to go into, like, detail about the mostly undocumented development of this game. Yeah, it's like, it's a long story of, like, requirements changing, scope creep, dreadful hours for developers, uh, Big Red Button, or what were they called? Click Red Games, like, shut down over it. This was, like, their debut game. <laughs> it was not, I, from what I could gather, it wasn't their fault. How things went to so. Oh, let's see. A lot of people didn't get, like, their final paychecks. Very... Uh, this game, what? 2002? This game came out, so it was in development, like, probably at least in 2000 onward. Um, the biggest... I think there wouldn't be a notable, like... What am I trying to say? The working conditions of a large game, like, development teams, wouldn't be showcased, like, largely until Lord of the Rings Battle from Middle-Earth. Um, and it, the details of its development, like, cycle would come to light. That would be in 2004. Um, that was an EA Games produced strategy game. And, yeah, I don't know, that, that game was infamous for, like, in the last, like, five months prior to launch, it was crunch weeks after week with sleeping in the office and all that good stuff. The thing we've come to know and love about game development. Oh no 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 no! What a disaster for our hero. That's okay, I keep all my gems and stuff. A speed round tactic, if anything. Okay. I activated the final thing. I guess I'll talk to the bear at the start of the level. See if he has any good news for me. Oh, Bungie had that issue. Oh, 
was like, well, I mean, Bungie was like doing it for Microsoft, but did Microsoft have like a heavy hand in the development of that game? Or because like whenever I think of Bungie, I don't really know much about them. I think of like a bunch of like guys shooting, like just shooting the shit on the couch and developing a game, uh, just based on like the vibe that the closing credits text scroll of Halo 3 had. Are you making any progress powering the machines? Yeah, I did. I think I powered all of them. Okay. These guys respond anyway. I think I can just... Okay, we use the Atlas. Trusty Atlas. I want to see one of my... I'm missing two whole dragonflies. Uh, one of them is the Spitfire Sky Base. Maybe... Pillar, pillar... I don't know. Oh well, we can come back. I keep moving. Oh, Dragon Realms, I'm missing a single gem. Where could that be? Oh, whoa! A cut. Did I say to leave the level? Okay. Hey, Rip Dad. Blasted! Where are they? Where are my dragonflies? Uh, excuse me, oh short one. Uh, sir, bastard. sir, short one. Something went wrong with your scepter. Uh, I think the dragonflies were scattered all over. Scattered! <laughs> scattered! Crush was not the first in the last Something must even. have gone wrong with my scepter. The dragonflies must be scattered all over the continent. No matter. Without their dragonflies, the dragons are helpless. <laughs> I'll send my Riptox out to collect them all and put that purple dragon out to pasture. All right. Back when they were making Marathon. I have this policy where each employee had to beat the game twice before going home. This is when they were working on their own, making an FPS for Mac. That's right, they did work on something before that. They basically remade that entire game in the six months before launch. Jesus Christ. I'm sure a lot of work went into making the first, like, open-level mm -hmm. FPS thingy. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember one big, like, selling point for Halo 1 was, like, they spawned into that big open field area. And it's like, look at all the, you, you can see the ring in the skybox and look at this world that you. You've got Dominion over. Oh God. Ooh, or did like Halo Wars feature any returning ideas? That's, that's kind of neat though. You have to beat the game twice before you can go home. It's ridiculous. I would set like some weird like god mode flag or something in my build if I could help it. Unless like the guy's watching me play the entire time. Can I go? Well, that should do it, Spider. All right. Hop aboard the raft and get ready for the Honey Marsh Rapids. I am not ready for the Honey Marsh Rapids. Here we go. Man, I love Halo Wars. Hey, the wars, honey, we love you. Shut up, baby, I know it. Daggummit. Daggummit.
little piggy oil point, can eat your butterfly. What is my purpose? Welcome to Honey Marsh, Spyro. Hi, Jimmy and Bob. Look, Opie. Look, fat. I tells you what, I'll make you a deal as sweet as honey. There are some honey okay. skills draining all the honey from Honey Marsh. Help us get rid of them. And any of them there dragonflies you're going on about that you find along the way, you can keep. Just keep that between us now, you hear? You go do these things, and anything that you collect on your own time between those things, you can keep. Ain't that the deal of the century? Oh my gosh, this feels fun. Oh shit. Oh, oh gosh. Gee, jeepers. Okay. I don't have a little buddy to pick stuff up anymore. Take a moment to admire these rip dogs. Was that the like pedal faster right here band banjo music movie like theme playing? The the weird like chord. Whoa! You shoot lasers. Complete this level. The only level standing between us and the end of the game, and a few backtracking appointments to get old gems and stuff. Uh, the only levels after this one are Monkey Monastery, the Dra Dinosaur Jungle, and Thieves Den. Now, Thieves Den, that level kind of sucks. And the gems come to life and run away from you. Very cool, like, little motif going on there, but, and you get to see where all the gem thieves come from, but, that's a honey distillery. You, you little jerk. No iframes for this dragon. Goodness gracious. That makes my job easier. Big day for lizard based gameplay. Major developments for lizard enthusiasts today. Oh no. Oh no. 
hope I can run into some friendly fodder between here and the next gun prep talk, because he's got shots. Oh, there's, there is a pig between me and the next prep talk, that's good. This is the most toast themed level. Not just because of the wizards, but... You little jerk! Yeah, I'll teach you. You know I get that butterfly spyro sparks? No? No, I'm just gonna- I got a traveling butterfly with me now. And a dragonfly that won't pick up gems. Alright, see, so we'll not use the butterflies to restore my health and you won't pick up gems for me. There we go. Oh. I bet. Duckweed! Duckweed! More like goodness gracious, you're a, of a different breed. God. Sparks is completely buggered right now. Save my progress, please. Alright, until I die next, we don't have a dragonfly, effectively. And, uh, for those of you who have been tuning in from home, you might not have noticed that, uh, the, like, magnetization of the, of the collectibles like these gems on the ground. That's like not just because I'm in proximity to them that they fly into me. It's uh, if I'm within like a certain range of them, sparks will physically go and pick them up. And if sparks cannot travel to the gem and pick it up, like he won't, as demonstrated here, by the lack of him picking anything up. That's a minigame portal less that'll fix. I'll fix that in time. Uh, yeah, let's set it. Sports news now. Ebola is out of control. Now back to the dragon update. Thank you, household VTuber. And Welcome to Honey Marsh's Sticky Swamp Shootout. Us oh honey folk done love shooting stuff with our tank. We're giving <laughs> away a dragonfly to anyone who can shoot down on him at target. You think you're dragon enough to handle it? It's a blast. <laughs> hey, yeah. Great. Make sure to shoot off the bees before your honey combo gets to the end of the course or you'll lose. Shoot all the tanks, bees, and grenade rip talks. Don't worry, they are highly trained and extremely well-paid professionals. Nobody will actually get hurt. Oh, almost nobody. How do I shoot? The, how do I operate the tank again? I do this to do that. I can lower it. I can do that. I can raise and lower it. Got it. Raise, lower, look, boom, boom, shoot with this, rotate the turret with this. Onward! Take this, you highly trained and well paid professional. Professional. You grenadier rip dogs don't know who you're messing with. Now to retreat. Uh, 
bees aren't in the flowers, are they? There are the bees. I'm going for their knees. Is that small? It is traveling toward me. That's a projectile. Yeehaw. Jesus Christ. Oh my Great. gosh, Bon Bon slash sure sweet VTuber here in the flesh. Before your honey Would you like to give the viewers a yet? shout out? <clears throat> Hi, Jonathan. <laughs> oh, there she is, folks. Crisis actors in the battlefield. Sparrow confirms. Tropic Thunder. A Tropic Thunder state. Alright, well, let's just speed around this one. Don't hit me! Do I even have to hit the grenade reptonics? If it's like, it's only counting the bees. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize I was being timed. Okay, well, that changes everything. I don't know how I missed the big timer. Absolutely, okay, we're gonna have to... Oh goodness, this is not easy. Okay, can I just... This is... Oh god. I'm just gonna have to approach this slowly and with method. Acting. Out of the sky. Ouch. I keep it moving. Ooh, it's a direct hit. Not so. It's time we put an end to this twisted game. Let's finish it. Hit him high. There you go. Goodness gracious. Awesome shooting, Spyro. You sure you ain't my fifth cousin? Congratulations, you win the grand prize. All right. Well, maybe not that grand, but hey, it's awful pretty. I'll take it. One awful pretty. <laughs> hey, it's Pliskin. Well, we're all out of them dragonflies, but you can play the sticky swamp shootout again if you. You know, for fun. You do what? No, what fun? You think you're dragon inspiring. enough to handle it? It's a blast. <laughs> That's cute, but no, maybe okay. later. That was horrible.
All right. Ouch. Ooh, you feeling better, Spyro? Didn't look so good for a moment. There we go. Have to respond to Bull Dragonfly. Picking up gems and such. Dragonfly felt familiar. I might vaguely remember that from childhood. That particularly finding that little guy hiding out. Oh boy. I hope these guys don't shoot me with their projectile stingers. Haha. <laughs> Tim, formerly known as Russell. Oh hey, look at this! It's a whole like little bee-themed obstacle course up here in the trees. Is there any reason for this? <laughs> uh, a key. This opens a treasure chest of sorts. Okay. Oh, good thing. I would have missed this gem otherwise. In that hammock. to each other toward the end of the level. I really don't see the geometry lasting that much longer.
What's this? Let's see. Hazelnut. Thank you, Bon Bon. Baddies here, here Riptox have set up shop in our trees. They're using them bees to launch attacks on us. Uh, if you could wipe them all out, I'd be much obliged. When you're done, go see my second cousin, Warren Bob. Cool. Now it's time to go kick some Riptox butt. Well, them beehives are pretty bad. tough, so you're gonna need to swallow those rocks and spit oh, them no. out like watermelon seed. <laughs> <laughs> Just like watermelon skins, guys. Let's take care of this immediate drop down. There you go. Oh, wait, you're not, you're not dead yet. I can make you less alive. Ah! Bees! Ouch. That wasn't worth it. Oh gosh. Let's head up there and see if we can't wrangle ourselves a pig. Besides, they got those bug eyes, too. Mm, gives me the creeps. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Hi! <laughs> Not Sparks' voice. <laughs> Hi! How was that, you abomination? Oh god, why is there a gem right here? There we go. Okay. Got a 
few things that need to be. Extermination job a little easier. Oh no, this is the chest. But the key open the scatter. Cool. Cool indeed. Cool Rooney. Hey, it's Tim. Good to see you, Tim. <laughs> Man, perfect opportunity. Oh, you don't you don't die. Certainly smacked yet. Okay. <laughs> That's a good point. Did he really get initiated with all of them before all this? Before all of this tarnation? He addresses them very generally in the opening cutscene. He is gesturing to the to a general array of dragonflies, but still. I guess they don't all look the same to him. Starting with a blue dragonfly last time. That like respawn points in range of a rip dog. I just didn't see it. And for the record, the controls. Uh, I press buttons and the actions do happen, but the whole time it feels like my feet are made out of play doh. supposed to be a fairy that saves your game. This game is broken. If this fairy spawned correctly, I would have had a save point. Goodness. This level looks like thick pits. No, I didn't... have to come back to this challenge. The watermelon seeds aren't working. You're supposed to, like, just pick them up. Ouch. Yeah, this might just be, uh... Let's go do the other challenge. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, let's go do the other challenge. Skip the bees for now and get out of piss land. Pistopia.
go to that minigame portal that I spied earlier and then we'll finish it. I'm not really sure how we're gonna fix the rocks thing though. I might look up an FAQ and see if anyone else has run into that issue. I finished Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 twice, so I can 100% this once. work now. Yeah, you get a gator bob. Oh, okay. Forgot to eat it. Alright, it's working out. Back. Oh, it's just, it floats there, I see. There we go. Well, good day for... Spyro players. In its defense, not enough games have BP themed levels. Oh boy, the raft shaking doesn't make this easy. There you go, I'll knock him out. Whatever. Well, I guess you did, you were on that tanker and uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, and you know, BP oil spill happened because of a tanker? That would. Be. There you go. Metal Gear Solid 2 false opens into a tanker, and uh, BP spilled oil from their tanker. I just want to finish this off. There you go. Boom! Get out of here! Double zeros! Pass me your obligation, Alex Bob. Boy, howdy! <laughs> We're just getting started with our BP theme levels. Uh, watch the maker. Has Bon Bon told you about her video game idea? I told you I could handle it. I wasn't born in the back country, you know. That's not what you said, Spyro. Yeah, but I didn't think you could really do it. Now I owe Jimmy Bob five bucks. Aww. And you owe us one dragonfly. It's true. I sure enough do. Here you go. <laughs> hey, it's Lily. The demand is out there. One of the... Harry Partridge's most 
viewed animations is... Was it Irving the Awkward Bee? Irving the Socially Awkward Bee? I think his name's Irving. So we could, like, use his likeness with permissions. And his P. Boy, howdy! I can't wait to see what this mini Gameo level has in store for us. I'm glad the rock spinning minigame worked out, I really am. I really gotta prepare a 24 hour marathon charity stream, boost these numbers. Oh boy, too unwilly. As one of the dragonflies, can you chase him down the slide so we can get the dragonfly back? But be careful, he, <laughs> he's got a stinger that'll whip my bad back right into shape. Aww. We'll fix your back, too, I willy. Chase the bee down the slide, you got it. Hi ho diggity. Beating you, this is a race now. of this game in a I'm guessing the PS2 prior to the Greatest Hits version um, I don't know what version I'm playing I guess it's Greatest Hits for, for GameCube um, this guy had an improper voice line he like in a goofy voice from another character said okay come back anytime and it's like not too wide Willie's voice so in this release they just knocked it out now he just says words in the subtitles Oh no, that was crocodile piss of the unsticky variety. I've had enough with a piss slide. Mr. Electric sent him careening down the piss slide.
Mr. Electric spawn him on the start part of the Roblox Endless Bridge server. Mr. Electric, play Roblox. Stuff that makes you. Well, Miss Jones. And after replay, well, it's. Oh my goodness, really? We did it? 800 out of 800 and 10 out of 10 dragonflies level complete. We will not be returning to the Honey Marsh, I repeat. We will not be returning to the Honey Marsh after tonight. It was good meeting y'all. I am Gonzo Ria. Welcome to the Pierce Line. How Pierce are you? Oh, quick viewer poll. Viewer poll to all my dear viewers. How do you pronounce it? SQL? Or SQL? Or SQL? Referring to the uh, structured query language abbreviation. Or acronym. What do we got? SQL. There. Bada bing. Bada boom. Get your other friends. Assumptions out of the room, comma, bon bon. We have a sequel there. That's how I do it too. I told you, I told you other people say sequel. You weren't denying it. I just made a competition out of nothing, so I'm not saying that there was any real opposition, but I said it, I said it. People say sequel. And watch the maker. You would consider yourself initiated in this field. Squall. Okay, that's a good one. Squall would come out, I can see that coming out on a day where I'm feeling kind of down in the dumps and I have to pretend to be a little goblin to kind of like feel better. Be like, I, 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 I write to Squall. It'd feel good. I was working on a fantastic new experiment, but I suddenly disappeared from my laboratory. If you find some more of these dragonflies, I bet their magic could get this contraption working again. You bet? That's not very scientific. 65 dragonflies needed. I have... You really need to get... 56, okay. Now this is the... Here we go. I believe this is the last level in the game. Is Dinosaur Jungle right here. And it's cool and grand and epic. Look at that whole, like, pyramid thing. Mausoleum. Um, so you need 65 dragonflies to access that. That's pretty aggressive. Because so far we've been we've been trying to 100% what we haven't, but at least dragonflies wise, we've gotten every dragonfly in every level up until now, besides two in Crop Circle Country and two in Cloud Nine. So we just haven't been to Monkey Monastery, and we haven't been to Thieves Gem Den, both hosting ten dragonflies. Well, you know, maybe it isn't so aggressive. We have 56, we need nine. If we got the two here, seven, five, then we would only need... We'd only need half of the dragonflies in one of the upcoming levels if we, like, 100%... Okay, you know what? That's not too aggressive. You can skip. Oh, did I just quit? 
you can skip an entire level prior to the final level in the game. That's not so bad. As a kid, I got like kind of walled right there. I just didn't. I never made it to Dinosaur Jungle, so I'm excited to see that in these upcoming streams. Well, I meant to take a look at Monkey Monastery before we left. I keep forgetting that, like, when you press the B button on the Atlas screen, you just leave wherever you are. Oh, what the hell? Let me out. I thought that was taking me to the title screen. Never mind. Okay. We're going to take a look at the Monkey Monastery entrance, and then we're going to call it an evening. But yeah, so we've just got the Thieves' Den, the Dinosaur Jungle, and Monkey Monastery. Monkey, Mon Monkey Monastery is next. These are... Monkey Monastery might be fun. I think it has an ice slide that we get to play on. Thieves' Den, I remember just being a dick riff as far like through and through from beginning to end so i am not i am not looking forward to that 40 minutes of the gameplay thieves done i am looking forward to dinosaur jungle although it might have an oppressive setting um because it's all new to me and i am looking forward to the true crypto final boss and then that'll be it short and sweet little platformer this game is. I foresee maybe two more streams it'll take. We'll do Monkey Monastery and Thieves Down in the next stream, and after that it would be Dinosaur Jungle plus the here's and there's for the gems and stuff that we missed. For our 100%. And then we will take on the big bad himself. He's mechanically simple, he just like throws up a barrier of a certain element and you have to like counter it with the opposite element. And then he runs across the arena. I don't know anything else about his attack patterns, it's been too long. But there's not much to him, except for his third form where he changes things up. And again, you only see his third form if you 100% of the game prior to encountering him. So that's funny. Your, remote, your reward for like finishing more of the game is a more difficult and evolved final boss. How cool, right? They don't do that anymore. They really don't. That would not... That would not happen at a game that came out today, broken to hell and back or not. I guess Cave Story kind of does that. Anyway. Monkey Monastery. Uh... We don't get to talk to the monkey NPC because we have enough dragonflies for it to work, so we'll take this air balloon to the monkey monastery on our next stream. Look at that. It's a good looking asset. Alright. Uh, can I save from the screen? Yes, I can. Great. Yes. Yes. Save successful. Alrighty. Dear viewers, thank you very much for tuning in. Shout out to Watch the Maker. Thank you very much for your attention and time this evening. I do appreciate it. Let's quit the game, head back to the title screen just to wrap this. I think the VOD kind of loop happily. All right. All right, next time on Spiral Enter the Dragonfly with Household VTuber, we will be, as I said, taking on the Monkey Monastery, the Thieves' Den, perhaps the Dinosaur Jungle, and then we're going to see some old friends back at Luau Island and whatnot. All right, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs>